Hi there, this is Kevin Stewart, Bills 250. I'm Kev, and this is stage 25 of issue 8 of Build the Ghostbusters Ecto 1. Okay, so stage 25 just looks like it's some of the detailing for the front of the car. Going to get the radiator mount, I think, uh, the horn and stuff like that. Um, so I guess it's going to be mostly plastic parts in this stage, and uh, I'm sure they'll go together fine. Also got a bit of an update on the problem I had with stage 23, where I had that broken part. Um, really, really good, to be honest with you, with Eagle Moss. Um, I think it arrived within about 10 days after I uh, phoned them and asked for a replacement stage pack um yeah no bother whatsoever and as always they just sent me out a complete new stage pack so i'll just re I'll, I'll just be replacing that uh, broken shock absorber strut that i got but hey let's have a look at the parts and let's get into the build for stage 25. okay so parts laid out there for uh, stage 25 uh yeah maybe plastic this is uh the radiator bracket i think mount and uh, that's the metal part the rest of it is all plastic but nicely detailed nicely molded so um, yeah, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into the uh, build. Now we've got a look at the parts. Let's get in the build for uh, stage 25. First thing it's asking us to do is assemble the radiator beam. So I bought over the metal part, which is this uh, radiator beam. And then we've got these two radiator beam struts. Obviously we're gonna have to get these the right way around. Looking at them, you've got the um, locating pin It's going to go on like that. And then we secured in with DM screws. Okay, looking at that one, it's at a slight angle, but hopefully that won't too much of an issue. Oops, so we'll wait and see when it goes onto the uh, car. Okay, so just building the junction box now. Um, so you've got the junction box cover and then the junction box itself. So kind of going that way around. Just again, I think it's got a locating pin. So can only really go on one way. And then it fits flush. Yeah. And then you're just going to be fitting that with a HP screw. That's going to be going on to this metal radiator beam. Make sure I get it the right way round. Yeah, it's kind of at an angle as well. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's not it's not flat, so they are actually angled parts. Which is good. And two EM screws. I don't know if any of these screws are going to be on site when they're in. It's obviously completely out of scale for the model, so you have to wait and see if you can see any of these screws. And if you are, kind of try to hide them somehow. But um, the yeah, instruction box there. And these big parts here, they call them the walls engine walls. Uh, go find the left one to start with. The left one. I don't think they're marked left and right. Can't find a marking on them. Normally you've got markings on them but I can't see an L or an R. Uh, so just match them up to the um, picture that you had in the inventory. So that's going to kind of go over the beam let's see where that's going to kind of go over the beam so you've got a beam there and that obviously they've got a cut out there for the beam let's see if we're going to put that over there and you attach that with two dm screws left engine wall and then obviously the other side of the right engine wall which hasn't got the cut out for the engine beam because it's a lot further over so it hasn't got the engine it hasn't got that cut out for the engine uh, for the radiator beam 
once again, two DM screws. So a left and right engine wall in. Okay, we're uh, building up the horns, and the horn mounting brackets. The horns are pretty much the same, but these mounting brackets are obviously different, so you've got to be careful, you've got to know which one's which. The first thing it's asking you to do is construct a horn. So yeah, you've got a, um, go this way around for this one. And you've got the pins. Now the hole on this one goes to the bottom. Make sure I'm getting those into the hole. Yep, I am. Okay. And I'm going to get the round bracket with the right angle part on it, which doesn't look exactly like it does in the picture because it's got this cut out, and in the uh, magazine that's solid. I guess it's the same thing. Something going to be going on there. So, got the hole for the locating pin. And that isn't big enough. It's not going to fit flush, that's for sure. So it's not because the hole for the uh, hole on the horn bigger if you like than this hole here. So we'll see what it looks like once it's on. Okay, well, that's loose as well. Hmm. I'm not convinced about this. Why is that hole? It doesn't show that hole. I don't know whether to glue that. If it's going to look, if it's going to move, because it's got that gap, which I don't particularly like. big enough. I think I'm going to put dab of super glue on there. It doesn't say to do it but I don't like it loose. So yeah, just a little dab of super glue. I don't like it being loose so I'll just try and put super glue in there. It's going to be going downwards. There we go. And then I'm happy at putting this on now because it's not going to be flying on that. And then that goes on to the left front wall. So the one that comes out of the, so the one with the bracket where it comes out of. This is going to be going on just, there's just a pin hole. It's going to fit on like that. So slightly different to what it shows in the magazine because it's, uh, it's not a solid gap. Idea. HP screw. First one fitted. Okay, I'm going to be doing the same. This one, apart from it goes the other way around. So you have the horn facing that way and the bracket going upwards. I am going to put a little bit of super glue in. I'm 
yet the hull is going to be facing upwards. And the bracket will be facing, going to be angled towards the uh, horn. So in that orientation, that way. Let me see that pin going that way. And then fit it together with a HP screw. Second horn looks right. I'm going to fit that. And I'm going to fit that onto the right hand side. No, we're not. We're still we're fitting it underneath on the left hand side. So it's still onto the left hand side. Just below the first horn. with a HP screw again. Now breaking over the radiator from the last stage and we're going to be fitting that onto the bracket, the radiator bracket. So it's just going to be going onto here. I don't think it's got any no, no um, locating pins or anything like that. So you just have to kind of match it up to the picture. And then secure it with DP screws. Four of them. And always when you're doing these, so I'm going to kind of do it that one, that one, that one, that one. Two on the same side. Don't tighten up the, don't tighten them up to start with. Leave them loose, so you got a bit of movement. And there you go. That's the radiator mounted. The last part for this uh, issue is you're just going to be putting this black pipe work that they've given us onto the generator and it's just going to sit there, it doesn't go anywhere yet. Okay, so stage 25 done there. Yes, nice, nice detailed parts that look like they're going to go on the front of the car. Radiator and the radiator mounting and all that. So I've got stage 26. Obviously, it's the last of the year issue eight subscribers pack. Um, I'll be getting that done and built and then onto the channel in the next couple of days. And then waiting on kind of issue nine subscribers pack. Now, as I said, I think in one of the other videos, it does seem to be that they're uh, sending them out once every three weeks instead of four weeks. Um, so shouldn't be waiting too long for the uh, issue 9 subscribers pack. But hey, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. If you like the progression of this model or any of the other models on the channel, then please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell if you'd like to be notified any time that a video goes live. But take care. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. And ta-da for now.